Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to take a close look at the Arcade 1-Up from China. So Arcade 1-Up, I personally really love the kind of form factor this thing has. It's tiny, it's cute, but also in China, they make kind of a similar product. But it's not like a one-on-one -on -one clonal whatsoever. No, this is like in the same measurements because this thing has the same measurements or almost the same measurements like an arcade one-up. I'm here like with Made for Arcade. I have noticed this thing in the showroom and I just wanted to check it out for you guys to see how good or bad this thing is. It is a newer version. I did own one of these things back in the day, but this is a completely different version or at least with different kind of art. I'm curious what kind of quality that we're going to get with this machine. And overall, the build quality is not bad at all. Where we have like arcade one-ups like these DOI kits, this is something you get out of the box or out of the crate basically. But let me know what do you think of this and let's go with the show. This thing is quite heavy and I'm very happy that he implemented some wheels at the back. So basically you can lift it up and just basically roll it away like this. It's very convenient, I can tell you that, because when you're looking at an arcade one-up machine that weighs almost nothing, this thing is quite heavy because it's basically a solid mini arcade one-up. And that is something that personally I really like about it. Also, there are some features to this thing that I personally think is pretty neat. All right, so let's plug it in and let's power it on. Because I'm curious what are we going to get actually in the end. So it comes with a 3D Pandora G-Box AX2. Wow, that is really absolutely a mouthful. So when it comes to the monitor, this is just a 4x3, 19 inch I'm seeing correctly. The only downside to this thing is that we do have like a four button configuration. It's kind of weird. And they keep doing this. Also with mine version back in the day, I had a four button configuration. And changing this out is going to be like quite a pain in the ass. The buttons itself are quite good quality. So the same like with the joystick, it's not bad at all. But if you want to upgrade this with six button, it's highly possible you need to remove the full, let's say, like we'll cable three inside really and need to like show. implement extra buttons. Not very handy. When it comes to this, like I really like it that they're using actually glass. There is like an in-depth where you can see over here. There's basically like quite an let's say distance between the glass and the monitor itself. But the overall performance for this Pandora's box is not bad. <laughs> But the problem is we have four buttons, so we actually don't have a block button. Epic feel. Besides this thing having a weird name, what I do like about it that we do have like all of the options when it comes to the Pandora's box, box six, and all the other ones. We have like category, but also we have like the option to search. So it's a quite, let's say, extended game box. You can see like even the fake ones, let's call this thing the fake one compared with the other brands. They implemented a lot of the same stuff now. <laughs> Let's look at the back and what are we going to get in the inside because this thing does have like a very nice door that opens up so you can basically do a lot of modding and tweaking if you want to. This is basically the quality of the wood they're using. It's maybe not the best quality but yeah it's thicker and bigger and better in my opinion than arcade one up in general. So now I have like the inside and there is a lot of room for modifications. If you want to slap a PC in and do a completely mod of this thing and that is what I really like about it. There is a lot of options. There's only one speaker at the front. So also there we do have like ways for improving it. There's a coin operating system inside. So everything that you're going to need for making yourself like the mini arcade one up from China ultimate you can do it there. Then we have like the volume control can be adjusted with the Pandora's box over here. So it's the same with all the Pandora's boxes. Over here we have like the compartment where the coin will drop in if you want to use it like that. So all of these options are basically in here. Then we have like a power supply. It looks kind of cheap to be honest. It doesn't really matter. It works and that is what is most important at this point. But again, I think the cable management is staying absolutely done great. And what I really like about this thing, we do have like modding options. The downside too is that they're only having VGA. So the monitor in here is, in my opinion, a little bit like prehistoric. There's no way of basically adding, let's say, in DVI. The other thing is like we do have this weird white dot in the screen itself. I don't know how, what the hell is going on. <laughs> So 
So Tekken did run pretty good, but it did have some weird stuff going on with the background music. Nevertheless, as I went looking at this device, I think modding capabilities are pretty damn awesome. So I think in that particular way, I really like it. But beside that, four buttons out of the box, this thing does miss a lot of, let's say, features. Think about like at least six buttons. The overall, I think it's a pretty cool concept. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. What I thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and it will be great to see you in the next video.